Welcome to our video review session this week with my favorite Muppet, Ollie. He's such a good boy. He's getting so big. He's getting so big. So I've got his gentle leader on. We're going to practice some stuff. And again, he's so great that he kind of acclimated to this so quickly. And not to sound like a broken record, but I really want you to... Um, to you should think about having this on him all the time whenever you're gonna have a leash attached I just again for safety I can't tell you I wish I wish it wasn't um, something that that has happened but I have had over the years um, I've had definitely at least three or four uh, students who had bigger exuberant dogs get pulled over and break a hip um, no joke so I just would feel terrible if that ever happened and so I just don't even think about and it's always times when you don't think oh I'm just going from here to there or I'm just getting in the car and all of a sudden a squirrel runs across the driveway and your dog just you're not really paying attention your dog bolts and your instinct you know as I get it it's like you hold on to your leash sometimes I tell people you should just drop it because you know hopefully it would be a safe you know nothing bad would happen to your puppy but I also don't want anything bad to happen um, to my humans. So always, anytime you hook up your leash, have your gentle leader attached. Um, okay, so again, we are just still hitting home with all of our um, things like foundation skills. So I'm gonna toss a treat, go fight it. Ollie! Yes! Treats stay hidden until the dog gets close enough to me. That voice makes everybody come visit. Here we go. Ollie, go find it. Good job. Ollie! Yes! Oh, here we go. Good job. Good job. Touch. Yes. Touch. Okay, I'm gonna try to get him. Touch. Yes, to get up out of his sit to do touch, which is a lot harder. Come here, touch. Touch. Why? <laughs> He's literally trying to stretch as far as he can to get to my hand without getting up. Touch. Yes. Did you see that? He did it at the same time. Me too. It's like so funny. Well, let's try it again. Touch. It's like. <laughs> you move my butt a little. <laughs> Are you just being lazy or silly? We don't know. Okay, down. Hmm. He's like, hmm. Yes. Sometimes, honestly, it's kind of hard for the big, go find it. Sometimes it's kind of hard for the big um, dogs that aren't real coordinated yet to do down. Down. It's just, it's like, Bleh. I don't know how to, what to do with my body yet. Good boy. So he still needs a lure. Go find it. Okay, down. Ollie, down. So I'm just kind of waiting to see if he'll end up offering the down for me without a lure. I'm not gonna wait all that long, but let's see what happens. Ollie, down. He's like, um, could you please take the general leader off? All right, so what we're going to do, because um, uh, we'll come back to down in a minute, but I do want to just, again, kind of work on some of our reward zone training for leash walking. So the dog is at my left side. Um, I'm taking a treat. And, oh, come here. Pop, pop, pop. I am putting that treat on my left hip, right above the puppy's nose, and it's coming straight down my pant leg. And I want to make sure that I repeat that. Ollie, yes. And I put that treat, I want him to continue looking up at me. Not lose focus. In between treats. Very nice, okay, so that was good. I wanna to try to get through like maybe five treats without, go find that. Let's go. Okay, 
And then when I'm walking, what I want to try to do, uh-uh. And I want you to think about practicing that, sir, I want you to think about practicing this just around the house, okay? Around the house, on a deck, somewhere where there's not distraction. Let's go. I want you to think about having the leash in your opposite hand that the dog um, is on. So, hey, what, what is happening? What's happening here? Oh, oh. oh, I see. Treats on the ground. Treats on the ground. Okay, so I'm going to have this leash in my right hand and a bunch of treats in my right hand to refill in order to continue to reward the dog. So I grab a treat. Hey, and my idea is that I really want to just keep him focused. Hey, up, up, up. no sniffing the ground. Hey, let's go. Yes, come on. Yes. So that treat is kind of still sitting on my hip. I don't know if you can see this. Let's go. I have a lot of room to maneuver here. Yes. Come on, boo. Yeah, good job. Good job. See, he keeps looking back up at me. That's what I want. That's nice. It'd be nicer if you didn't chomp my fingers while we were practicing this. This is a really hard skill for humans to um, master because you're trying to um, you're trying to walk with the dog. You're trying to hold the leash. You're trying to keep them in place. You're trying to deliver treats on the go. Um, not have the dog go behind you or in front of you. The, so there's a lot of skills. That's why I really like for people to practice this in the house till you get really good at it. Don't even hold the leash if you're in the house. Just try to keep the dog kind of walking in your vicinity. Um, that's a really good thing for you to practice. We're gonna quickly go back to the down and then go to your place. All right, good boy. All right. Go to your place. Very nice. Good boy. So I'm going to reward a few times just for walking on this mat. Okay. Go to your bed. Nice. Okay, so I'm not expecting the down yet. I'm just rewarding for the go to your place. Okay. Go to your bed. Yes. All right. Down. I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen here. Yes. Down. Yes. Sit. Down. on hardwood but it's weird some puppies are actually better at going down on a hard floor because they slide their paws and then when they get on a surface like a blanket um, they're not as easily um, manipulated into that position down down sir We're gonna keep at it. We're gonna keep at it. All right, have a great weekend. We'll see you this after, well, I will have seen you this afternoon for our in-person review session, and that will help you, again, sort of visualize and practice some of these skills with a little bit of on-site coaching. All right, see you soon, bye.